So as a first contact practitioner in primary care, patients are triaged to our service with generally musculoskeletal problems, but it can be other problems. We uh, assess and triage and treat patients using um, a number of skills. So we, most of us are prescribers. We also use injection, uh, so steroid injections. Myself and my colleagues are very passionate about our service and how we really can make a change to patients' lives um, within primary care. And I would advocate any um, physiotherapist to, to look at this role in the future. It's, it's knowing that you've made some, some difference to a patient's life, especially the elderly. Sometimes you are the only person they will see for that whole day, you know, and, and you think how lucky you, you are yourself to be able to go home and, and to help someone in some way, you know, to improve their quality of life. The main thing that um, surprised me was um, the support and the sound network of people around you to support you in your decision making in the care of the patients. Historically the ambulance service and primary care have never worked collaboratively together but in this process um, I think everyone appreciates each other's role and um, seems to be working quite well. As an occupational therapist, we would tend to be within specialist roles. This was a generous role, let's say. It has so many different conditions, so many elements to it. Part of that being scared is also it was being excited and seeing what could I bring, what could we do, how could we make a difference, how could we make a contribution. Um, and I think that has been the case and, and we are embedded now and so that feels fantastic. Mm -hmm.